Hello friends, welcome to our channel organized by Darcy, where we take the very simple and inexpensive and make it look so, so elegant. So today we're doing the part two of the seven week series of how to maintain a clean and organized home. Last week we did tips one, through three, and today we're going to be doing tips four through six. So let's get started on these three tips for today. If you're new to our channel, welcome. My name is Darcy and we do weekly organizational videos. We'd love for you to be a part of our family here. Just by pressing that subscribe button below, you automatically become a member of our family. And by pressing that bell icon right beside the subscribe button, you'll be notified when new videos are uploaded. Now, let's get into the three tips for today. Just to recap last week's tips, tip number one was to clean our front space or our front door. Tip number two is to make our bed every morning. And tip number three, is to have that no shoe policy in our home. Now to tip number four. Tip number four is to keep the counter area in the bathroom as clutter free as possible. This way it gives you extra space to clean and so much faster. All you need to do is just to wipe the counters down. What I do in this case here is on the counter, I try not to keep anything except in this case, I have a small box that I keep most of the, um, my hairbrush or um, straighteners or anything is kept in this container here. And this is something, that box that I've had for at least 10 years um, that I use. And it's, it's very messy in there, but it doesn't look that way on the counter because all I'm doing is the box is there and it has everything that I need to use on a daily basis. I do have drawers, which make it a little bit easier for me to put most of the other things in the drawers here. But the counter itself is usually clutter free, just the basic items there. Now, as we move over to the shower area, I'll show you um, what we have by the shower area. It's very, very um, basic when we get to the shower area. So all we have is a squeegee there that we, when we shower, we can always um, use the squeegee to clean the glass. Of course, what I try to do before is I have a spray in the shower area that I just, a multi-purpose spray that I just spray the different areas and then I wipe it down and then I get my shower and squeeze it off afterwards. So that's so much easier. But those are some of the things that we can do to maintain a clean and organized um, home. That's so much um, easier when you can do um, the very basic in five or so minutes, 10 minutes the most in the mornings, and then you're out, this, but this place still looks clean and organized. Another area in the bathroom that requires a five to 10 minutes um, wipe down each morning is just the water closet here. And pretty much if you do this on a daily basis where you just do a five to 10 minute um, wipe down every morning, then when it's the regular cleaning day, everything is nice and clean and just requires a little bit of deep cleaning on those um, special days that you do your weekly deep cleaning. Tip number five is to have a system in place for folding your sheets and towels. In our case, I roll the towels that are for the house use, and then I fold the towels that are for guest use. So it's either folding, as in this case for the guests, or if it's for the house, then I just roll those towels that we use. 
So that's one easy way to maintain a clean and organized linen closet. Tip number six is to use similar color hangers for all your clothes. This is my husband's side of the closet and he has all his clothes on black hangers. So my husband uses the black hangers and then I have the white hangers for one section and then for the heavier items of course I have um, wood hangers that um, we both share but he has his side with his hangers and I have mine. Where I keep my dresses of course I have a different set of hangers so I know exactly if it's a dress then it goes on a different color hanger. If it's a um, blouse, a heavy blouse, then it goes on the wood hangers. And then if it's just a regular blouse, then it goes on the white hangers. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these three tips today. Last week we shared tips number one, two, and three. Today we did tips number four, five, and six. And guess what? Next week, we're going to be doing six tips from seven through 12, because we're going to be in the kitchen next week. So please, I'd love to see you come back next week for those six other tips that we'll be sharing, how to maintain a clean and organized home. And these six tips next week are all going to be in the kitchen. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next week in our next video. Goodbye, and of course, good luck.